About 35 years ago, a wonderful textile and felt artist, Judith, invented her own unique way of making these beautiful, delicate roses. Now, Judith has given me her notes. Is it possible for me to use these notes and make a rose of my own? Will I get it right? Just to give those leaves a little bit more substance, I've sort of twirled them together with my fingertips. And here we have a finished rose. But we're still not done. Finally, adding a little stiffening to the petals and leaves. I use this craft glue. I call it a PVA glue. It's sort of plasticky and thick and white. So I'll put a little bit. No, that's not a little bit. You can see a trend here, can't you? So I'm going to water that down dilute that a lot more. So I get a paintbrush, this very diluted glue. This rose, by the way, has now dried overnight. And this is just acts as a beautiful stiffener so that if you make this into a brooch, the petals and the leaves will hold their shape. It is water soluble. So if you were to get it wet or water or uh, wet it, it, that would go a bit limp again. And you'll see in a minute, what I'm going to do is use some supports around the rose so that as it dries, the petals dry away from each other. So this works quite well having a little board like this that you can just turn around and just keep putting a little bit more in. If you like, you can do this all at once or you might like to do it in stages where you do a very thin layer of the glue, let it dry, see how that feels, what it looks like and then do another layer if you want to. See how those bottom petals are sort of a bit limp and hanging down? Well, in a minute, we're going to do something to give them a lift and a bit of a curve. See, so taking the end of the paintbrush, just give it a set its hair, like curling hair, twirl it around the paintbrush and then see if that will stay still. I think it probably will. And we do another one. And see if that will stay still. Same with the leaves. Let's give them a little bit of shape. There you are. Lovely little little salt cellar, I think it is, that I found buried in my backyard. I have to see if there's any more treasures in the backyard. Okay, so just, just trying to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of a more three-dimensional feel to it. I do hope you're enjoying this video. Now I'm also going to do this video again in sections so I can add even more detail. And there we have it. One wet felted rose. 
So did I get it right? Was I able to follow Judith's instructions? I think so. And I think even though I made lots of mistakes along the way, I think she would be very pleased with the results. We'll see when I show her. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you next time.